Today's head-to-head -head driver comparison features two of the most popular lowest spin drivers of 2023. I've got the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus. Kevin here has the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. Again, two of the most popular models out there this year. Kevin will do some testing. We'll show you guys all the numbers and tell you everything you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments what you think of these two drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft today, Master Club Fitter from the Columbia Store here in the Twin Cities. Head-to-head -head driver test today. Uh, two titans of the one-year product cycle. TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus, Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. Um, a lot of really good feedback initially here. This is kind of early on in 2023 we're doing this testing. Um, if you haven't seen the Swing Report videos we did with Kevin, go check those out. Um, but we're now going to kind of face them in a, or put them together in a head-to-head -head test. Yep. And so I imagine early on in the fitting base, Kevin, these have been, again, two highly requested models. They have been, absolutely. Um, Callaway's gotten off to a heck of a start this year. They've uh, they've been victorious in they three have, of the first yeah. five PGA Tour events. Yeah. Uh, John Rahm looks pretty good with, he uh, does. with his in hand. He does. Um, you know, but TaylorMade did get the win this last week. That's right. That's so right. Yeah. of the, the waste management. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be two very interesting uh, rounds here yeah. with these guys. Yeah. They're I, designed I, to do the same thing. Right. If they do the same thing, we should not be particularly surprised. Right, right. And I think that's where the kind of aesthetics piece comes in and the sound and things yep. like that. I know we talk so much about that and yep. how you know golfers need to have that confidence looking down at the club. Absolutely. Um, but I think there's always that interest out there from the viewers, you know, which brands are delivering the most with their products mm -hmm. in a certain year. And so um, there was a lot of, I would say, overall positive feedback with Stealth last year, Rogue ST last mm -hmm. year. Yes. Um, so seeing how TaylorMade kind of stuck with that Stealth sort of, um, you know, the branding and mm -hmm. the obviously the carbon yep. face and everything, and, and modified a few tweaks internally with the product this mm -hmm. year. Whereas Callaway kind of went with a whole new paradigm shift yes. with their Paradigm series. So yes. kind of a new uh, curveball here from Callaway versus something yeah. that TaylorMade obviously found some success with last year with Stealth. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit more from the, the new standpoint here, yeah. this new carbon chassis, yeah. the amount of weight they've been able to save and move it around. You know, they're, they're claiming you know, a good bit more, you know, downrange dispersion, tighter yeah. dispersion. Uh, whereas here we've got forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness. Yeah. Forgiveness. Yeah. And yes. I, it's always fascinating to me when I kind of put my hand on the, the carbon face. It feels just, different. It's just, I'm not quite used to feeling this as no. a club face. No. Um, but, when it performs, we've seen great numbers, and it is also probably a little softer feel for most players. Mm -hmm. If you're a field player, you'll notice that. But yeah. um, I think I'm ready to watch some some bombs from Kevin Kraft himself. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Seeing that uh, that ball speed consistently right at one shy under 160, maybe. Yeah, I gotta get that up. Club head speed's gotta gotta come up a little bit. Ah, oh, come on, man, give it to me. You'll get there. There, there it is. is. Okay. There it is. Yeah, it's more. Like That's it. not track, man. You know, they kind of just like that first reading is just a quick little guess, and then like, they calibrate yeah. a little bit, and it's like, okay, that's our yeah. that's our number. Yeah. So, let's just kind of a quick review the numbers on the Paradigm at Triple Diamond. So, 107 club speed, one share, uh, a hair under 160 on the ball speed, 2051 spin, 271 carry to 300 total. Pretty happy with that, wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, again, we, not that we expect anything different from Callaway drivers, no. that, you know, but um, I think ultimately now, so with the Stealth, well, the Stealth 2, we're kind of looking to see, well, hey, we're just really looking to see how it compares the numbers wise, because yeah. I think we kind of have our ideas on the look and feel and stuff. Yep. We've, I know you've done a, plenty of testing on yep. on both of them, and we shared that kind of those that feedback in yeah. the videos, on the string report videos. So um, any other notes you have from those first five shots? Otherwise, we can kind of dive into the Stealth 2 here. No, I mean, that's, that's I'm, I'm not, I'm not disappointed with that. Yeah. Um, 
you know, ball, smash factor was good. Ball speed was pretty decent. Yeah. Club head speeds, maybe not quite where I want to be, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't done speed stuff for a little while. So we'll, uh, okay. you know, maybe get a little faster as we go. And t just so everybody is aware too, we did, we have the same shaft in both drivers. That is correct. Um, and then the, uh, Lofts are the same as well in terms of the state of lofts. That is so. correct. All right, that's a lot better. Okay. See a little bit more draw so far. Yeah, which is interesting because I did not have this initially in the in the draw setting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did go to the draw setting on the Callaway. Okay. I decided that we'd hit a couple and then tinker if it was if needed. If we were really involving the right hand side, but I like to try things at neutral for and myself then, and for everybody sure. first to kind of see Got what's you. what's going on. Yeah, which makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yep, that's a good that's yep. a good shot. That one's pretty good. Yep, like that one. I mean, it is interesting that with the with the triple diamond moving over to the draw setting, you still really didn't turn it over. Yeah, yeah. You just maybe prevented that kind of fade, but it yeah. didn't really turn over yeah. like it is with the in the Stealth Two Plus without adjusting. A little low off the face. Not yeah. a not a bad hit necessarily, just a little low off the face. Yeah, I mean, it's very telling. Yeah. What happens yep. when you hit it low in the face? You can see on the map there. Yeah. Four versus four, the best ones here. Stealth two plus paradigm triple diamond. Uh, Kevin, before diving into the numbers, feel differences. Did you notice it was soft with stealth two plus? So, as it did with the fairway wood, I feel like the stealth two is a little firmer feel. Okay. Um, Interesting. It doesn't feel like the face compresses as much as what you get with the with the paradigm. Okay. Okay. Um, auditory feedback, it sounded harder to me. Yeah. You know, that sound feel thing, how they... they yeah, they, they always kind of work together. Run together, right. So, um, you know, from a look standpoint, I, I don't have an issue with the look of either of these golf yeah. clubs. Um, personally, I've embraced the red face. I, I, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, they're both glossy. Don't right. maybe necessarily love the glossy, yeah, but this I'm the is same way. I like the, 2023 I like is the year of glossy. Yeah. It is. Right? Yeah. 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 Things, yeah. things Tyler's, the only one that stayed. Titleist did that as well. I mean, they've yeah. always been doing that, but yeah. Um, so the numbers are interesting. I mean, here's the dispersion. We, we talked mm -hmm. a little bit already about how turning over the Stealth 2 is just for, for you easier to do. And even mm -hmm. with Paradigm in the draw setting, you just didn't get it quite all the way turned around. Yeah. Um, so the dispersion shows that, but the numbers tell a story of a kind of a, a, a driver that might have more spin, but perhaps more consistently than ver versus the paradigm, which is lower spin, not as consistent. Now, granted, that's still a very strong consistency very deviation. Strong consistency. So I'm not yeah. saying that's bad. No, no, not um, at all. Not but at all. I mean, what else do you kind of, how else do you interpret this, this number here? By the way, that carry number so is the exact same. A carry oh. number is exactly the same. Um, Swung the self a little faster, so but I mean your smash factor is equal, so they're very much on equal footing there. Yeah. Um, from a you know hundred feet in the air in the paradigm versus one fourteen, so landing angle wise, I definitely like the the paradigm a little bit better. Sure. Forty seven point seven is getting a little bit little steeper little steep. than I'd like okay. it to, to be really. Um, paths were very similar. Uh, attack angle was very similar. Actually, my attack angles come up a little bit. That's actually probably a good thing. Um, you know, it, it's one of those where, all right, we've got effectively six yards of difference and that comes from a little lower spin. Yep. 2000 is the absolute basement that I would want to go to for, for most players. Yeah. Uh, because the lower the spin, the more precise we have to be because otherwise the misses get bigger. Yeah. Guys on tour with a lot of power chasing a little bit more spin now, trying to make sure that their misses aren't as right. aren't as bad, right? right? They know they're gonna hit it a mile, but if they lose a few yards but keep it in the fairway. That's what they're gonna choose. At that level of golf, yeah. that's exactly what they're yeah. gonna choose. Exactly. I mean, if you're chasing pure distance and you have a good bit of speed at, you know, Kevin's <laughs> speed or even a little bit faster, 
I'm, I'm, you know, I'm chasing that. I, I'm, I want that to spin down. Yeah, yeah. You and know? you're looking for that spin down yeah. and might go under 2,000 to reach it. And so yep. it just it's a player preference thing. Yep. Um, but ultimately, we, I, I, it seems like in terms of efficiency and the kind of explosiveness, and, I mean, the drivers are kind of the same in yeah. that sense. There they just are. might be some launch and spin differences between these two models to, yeah. to take note of. So whatever, I guess, you're looking for as a player. And maybe you are someone that already launches it really low need something to launch a little higher, but want to maintain kind of a players oriented driver head. Sure. Stealth 2 Plus seems to be that yeah. higher spinning of this kind of category. Yeah. It was interesting that the, the Stealth 2 Plus turned over more too. I yeah. Mean, I wasn't necessarily really expecting that. Yeah. Again, could be, could be user. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, was, I don't know. It wasn't if, intentional. Well, but, and, you know. and so that's where like, I don't know if there is a, and we, um, that's how most of these tests go. It's like, there's not really a winner. It's more of like, here's, no. here's what, Perform best in this test, but then it's like when you come in and test, it might be different. Yeah, they're all designed to do the same thing. Yeah, right? it's what what works with your golf swing, what works to your eye, what works to your ears, what works to your hands. You know, those the things the things that we can that we can control mm -hmm. to an extent. We can kind of control what what the numbers aspect are. Yeah, right. We can we can under we understand them. Yeah, we can dissect them. Look, feel, sound has to be the individual. That's all of what of. you think That's or it. what yeah. I think. I, or, I can't have any influence on that at right. all. Right, right, yeah. right. So um, new drivers this year. It's a great year if you're in the market for a new driver. There's so many different options out there. And uh, there's bound to be one that fits your swing in the second swing fitting bay. So come get fit. It might be Stealth 2 Plus. It might be Paradigm Triple Diamond. Or it might be something else. Uh, but you won't know until you come in and test them out for yourself. So, Kevin, thanks for... A great test here. Um, two great models this year for sure. Definitely.